<laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Slash and VC. Let's return to the Cataclysm. Today we rejoin the adventures of Mark Crump. And I took a poll and I said, Dear users, what shall we do with Mark? Well, in that episode, right after I posted the poll, we did find some antipsychotic medication, which I'm guessing I haven't yet. I've got one favorited. Okay, where's the ones I picked up? I think I dumped them in the uh, storage compartment here. Let's look here. Where's we got? Oh uh, yeah, somebody told me I should take that flu shot so I don't get the flu. So I'll do that. Um, oh, there it is. Let's grab the antipsychotic and favorite that stuff. Okay, very good. Let's take the flu shot. We don't want Mark getting sick, do we? It says you no longer need to fear the flu, at least for some time. Well, I would like to comment on the efficacy of flu shots, but I probably better not. Does Mark need to eat or drink? Mm, I mean, you know, I hate to start every episode off this way, but there's no cure for it. It's just going to happen. I'm just going to eat some butter. That's right. Like a champion. Look at this. So we got... Uh, <laughs> hopefully these are good trade items. We got a ton of tramadol and sleeping pills and sedatives and potassium iodide and non-drowsy cough syrup. And oh my god, the multivitamins. Mark, we're going to eat five multivitamins. Yeah. We got tons of hemostatic powder. Three more flu shots, bunch of cough syrup, calcium tablets, caffeine pills, tons of antiseptic and antiparasitic drugs and antifungal drugs. Okay, great. What are we carrying on us that in that respect then? So we've got the quarterstaff, grenade, Molotov cocktail. We can drop off this stuff, socket wrench set, syringe, radiation badge, and trenching tool. Those could be dropped. Uh, we're carrying antipsychotics, tramadols, potassium iodide. I think, oh, we've got a hemostatic powder. We're just not carrying bandages, so I'll grab some of those. we got the engineering manual. Okay. Let's drop everything that's not a favorite over here. And then we'll grab some bandages. Uh, how many do we need? Mm, I don't know. Let's just grab six of those. Then I want to check Mark's uh, bandage. This is all bandaged. Okay, it's all um, the um, antiseptic and bandaged. All right. Anyway, I was trying to say that um, I took a poll, and uh, it was exactly 50-50. Holy shit, did I not turn my volume down? That was loud. It was 50-50 on whether we should keep playing with Mark. But I think the people who said um, do and some of the people who said don't were both of the same mind, which was, why don't you just do some dangerous stuff? And, uh, you know, quit uh, playing like a wimp. Oh, that was the robot that I heard going back and forth there. Okay, I think. There's, yeah, there's the robot. I wonder if we could uh, smash and disassemble these robots. Probably. Can I roll this drum into the hippie van? We need to grab popular mechanics. Let's see if we can get this drum out of here. Now, you might be asking yourself. I could wield it, probably. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, you, 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 you can't grab the drum. Okay, so you have to wield the drum, apparently. Wield the drum. Why don't you quit playing like a coward, they said. Why don't you quit being so dang cautious, they said. I'm curious, is this... I don't think any of these are, like, full. I'm just going to try to drop this uh, drum over there. Uh, no, it fell to the pavement. Hmm... Can I put the drum over here? Nope, it fell to the pavement. Yeah, we can't put the drum in. I wonder if we could mount the drum as an extra uh, 
gas tank. What if I wanted to uh, look over, like, where could I put it? We'll put it right across from the other gas tank, wherever that is. Hmm? Okay, there's our engine. Where's our gas tank? There. Okay, let's go across from it to here. Let's see if we can install tank. You can use a steel jerry can as a 20 liter tank. Are you kidding me? And all you need is a hand drill or cordless drill. I'll be darned. A 60 liter requires a 60 liter metal tank. Okay, look at that. And that all you need is a cordless drill. I've got the bolt turning. Okay, cool, man. Oh, oh, you need, oh, there's a difference between a drum and a tank. Because that's a 200 liter drum. Here, let's drop that here. I see. Is a tank something that you craft? Yeah. You need to turn... What do you use? You just use sheet metal to make a tank. Huh. Cool. Alright, anyway. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to mutate. Then we're going to find somewhere to go. B... <clears throat> so I'm going to explore some awesome thing to check out. Let's look at our map. We can explore the metropolis of Dyerbrook. Somebody said, find a hospital, find a lab. Okay. I don't think there's any... Oh, wait, what's this? No, that's a regional school. Subway station. We could go into the subways. All right, but anyway, in the interest of exploring, Mark could continue to explore north. We've also got Bedford and New Hartford. So we could hop on this road right here and see where it goes. I forget what this, if I even saw this before. What's this? It's a funny looking road, that's for sure. So we could check that out. We also discovered some more suburbs. Hubbardston, Peabody, and New Shoreman. Police department over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And motel here. I don't know how some of this stuff got revealed on our map, to be honest. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll head off in those directions and see if we can get into something awesome. I uh, looked this up in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Cataclysm, and this is a food irradiation plant, just like our commenter said. Apparently, some people think it's a really handy thing to be able to irradiate your food, by the way. I was reading a Reddit thread to that effect. Mark has skipped over Sherman. You may remember Sherman. Kunji was just here. Actually, Kunji is right over here in this direction. If Mark wanted to explore something Kunji's not seeing, we could get over here on the other side of Dyerbrook and explore north of there. But I think what we should do really is take this road here. But for now, we need to find somewhere to wait and let the radiation take effect, I believe. Well, I desperately need to clear my throat. I saw a thing over here, too, I wanted to inspect. So we've got these metal grates, and I don't think they go down. I was looking into whether you could carve your way down, or... I even thought about swimming down through the sewage, but um, I don't think that's a really a thing. Yeah, I thought there was a little handle or something sticking up over here. Anyway, let's uh, hit this and let's just wait a while. Let's wait an hour and see what happens. I think when we get radiation sickness, we can go purge it with the Russian Prussian blue. All right. Let's... Uh, oh, oh, we're not done waiting, apparently. Okay, wait, okay, wait. Wounds are... Okay, we do have weakness now. <clears throat> I can't scroll over there. I think, oh, here, we can look under effects. Weakness. 
The effect started an hour ago. Now, it's my understanding that this weakness is due to uh, radiation poisoning. I don't know if I kept my Geiger counter on me. We should check it out here. Ah, let's uh, turn off the flashlight. Let's go have a look at our Geiger counter, see how much uh, radiation we've taken off. Alright, we're at 110 microsieverts. So, I don't know if that's enough to mutate. Um, can I, should I rest? Can I rest? We could, um, should we want to sleep? Turn off the shooter's ear mouse? Yeah, let's turn off the shooter's ear mouse. We'll hang out here for a bit. Okay, so we've waited long enough for our wounds to start to heal, and I'm not, uh, I'm still seeing that the weakness effect is in, in, in effect. We haven't seen anything that said uh, mutation yet, I don't think. All right, it's 10 a.m. I'm going to stop trying to fall asleep. And we can go ahead and uh, put some food in us. I wonder what we can craft food-wise. We can make protein drinks. Hey, that's cool. Rehydrated fish. Curdling milk, hickory nut and bone, bone broth. That's, that's probably, I don't have the bones for that. Okay, no. Actually, I can't make any of this crap because I only brought like pre-made food and slugged down a couple of toastums. Drink a little water. Right, so he's good on that front. <clears throat> We're still vaccinated, and we still have weakness. That's strength, intelligence, and speed. Uh, current speed ninety four. Painkillers are still working. Uh, what do we need? More radiation? Oh wait, Put it down here. Okay, the I think my mutation traits will show up here. Folks, I, I don't think that we have uh, been exposed to enough radiation. Looky there. An iBot came around. Quad uh, Quadcopter. We don't know if that's real. Quadcopter drone, high resolution camera and speaker. It basically witnesses the carnage. I don't think that's probably there because it doesn't make sense. It should have been there before it was. All right, I'm going back in for more radiation. Let's wait two hours this time. We're going to take a good dose. All right, now all of my stats are decreasing. We're at uh, dexterity, intelligence, perception. Everything's going down. You were hurt. Stop waiting. Okay, now oh, I think we've actually got... Oh, yeah. We're nauseous, and we have weakness. But we're definitely got enough radiation to uh, start causing us some serious discomfort. Great. I don't want to take the Prussian blue, I think, until... Uh... Until we actually mutate. I no longer feel mon... I was hurt. Ignore. So the radiation poisoning is now giving us pain. Just lay there and wait to mutate, Mark. Hmm, it's not working.
Hmm. So, oh wow, but I've got a, a lot more weakness now. We're at uh, strength negative two, dexterity negative one, perception negative one, intelligence negative two, and speed negative four, all due to our radiation poisoning. But we have not mutated. Well, oh yeah, we were gonna disassemble this here. I wanna disassemble the fire extinguisher to get the uh, jerry can out of it. Cool, all right. We can wield the uh, jerry can. Go ahead and get the hose. And we can drop the jerry can and the spare hose in there. My radiation level is now 222 microsieverts. I'm thinking about taking a cut here. Because I could basically just kind of hang out in the hippie van and see if I mutate. I don't know how the radiation mutation works. This is all new to me. Um, I wonder if I can look at my world settings. Let's look here. Active world mods. No, nope, that won't do it. Okay. Uh... Well, anyway, just trust me. I did see it in the world settings where mutation through radiation was turned on. I guess I'm going to take a little cut here and wait maybe a day and, or whatever it takes. If I don't mutate in like a day, then i um, probably going to give up on this. But uh, I will be right back. All right, folks, I'm back. And uh, we got betrayed by our uh, hallucinations because... Uh, I was trying to sleep here and just kind of wait it out until I mutated and I see this bee fly in and I thought, well, that's not real. Yeah, actually it is real. Because it shredded my shirt. Your shredded undershirt is cut. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, let's, uh... How was my undershirt cut when I'm wearing a daggum chainmail over it, I think? Let's wield our quarterstaff. The bee hits your leg, but your armor protects you. Your torso, but your armor protects you. There, I hit him for eight. He just can't get through my armor, though. Look at that. All this. I block all the damage with my uh, qu uh, quarterstaff. He hits my leg, but my armor protects me. You hit it in the abdomen, and he retracts his stinger. Corpse of a bee. Yeah, the thing was real. Guess we need to close that door. So yeah, that was a thing that happened. So it's 9 p.m. and I have not mutated. Uh, wait, okay. So if I go over here and look at my effects, I'm high because I think I accidentally took a stimulant and an anticonvulsant when I was trying to take, yeah, look at this, stimulants. I'm jittery and pumped up. I thought I was taking a uh, Something to put me to sleep, but I accidentally ate a stimulant. We've still got radiation weakness. So either we... I think we've surely got a high enough dose. Anyway, I'm thinking about taking off driving. It's night. You know, we could pass some time on the road. Or should I wait till daylight? Hmm. Oh, oh, don't know. I don't know. I think I'll just drive. He's high on stimulants. He's got radiation poisoning. We might as well spend our time on the road, I think. Uh, why not? Why not? Let's go examine the world. Where are we at on gasoline? 13%. Yeah, we're still going to be looking for gasoline. I need to turn on the headlights. Uh, oh, ha ha ha. What headlights? I busted them out. You know what? We may not want to drive at night after all. I don't think I'm going to be able to see anything. I don't appear to be seeing much in front of me, actually. You know what? Sorry. Let's not do that. Stop driving. We're going to have to wait till morning to start driving. I was going to look and see. We should have prescription sedatives. Oh, look here. I accidentally took the stimulants. Yeah, I sure did. That was dumb. I'm going to take uh, two more prescription sedatives. 
and lay down here and try to go back to sleep. Which shouldn't be too hard, except I'm on stimulants and sedatives at the same time. <laughs> oh, Mark, you poor man. Anyway, at least we'll probably start the day with, uh, well, I don't know about full health. We're probably not healing very well with radiation poisoning. From the east, you hear a huge explosion. Huh. I guess these, uh, oh, that woke me up. Go back to sleep. Hmm. The sedatives aren't working very well. Let's try again. Take uh, two sleeping pills. They actually give you joy. I hope those things aren't addictive, by the way, because I've eaten a whole bunch of them lately. Just today, I think I've had like six sleeping pills. <laughs> Some sedative. A song plays in your dream. Lie still, little bottle, and shake my shaky hand. Black coffee's not enough for me. I need a better friend. I think we're going to mutate. Because I have heard that you have mutation dreams. That's the first time Mark has ever had a dream. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, mutation is right around the corner. I'll bet we wake up with something new about us. A song plays in your dreams. Lie still, little bottle, and shake my shaky hand. Black coffee's not enough for me. I need a better friend. Hmm. Same song twice in a row, but that's okay. We're having one of those repetitive dreams. Well, it's practically daylight. Oh, good. He woke up as soon as the daylight. Within moments, you're ready and up. You don't feel like anything could stop you today. So it's too bright to sleep, but let's look here. You dream that you reach into your pocket and pull out a bottle full of that wonderful diazepam candy. Oh, damn. We didn't mutate. We're just addicted to drugs. So we're high and vaccinated and unhappy and we're under the... Diazepam withdrawal, anxiety, nausea, hallucinations, and general malaise. Oh, nice. Well, let's eat, drink, and get on the road then. Let's have some cranberry juice, and uh, some potato chips, and uh, a couple cookies, and let's get some water in us. Crispy cranberry, and clean water, and a little forest honey. Okay, that's plenty. We're full and hydrated. I'm going to go ahead and take the Prussian blue now. Maybe that'll help with our, uh, you know what, radiation poisoning. There's nothing we can do about the other thing. Now, did the Prussian blue work right away? No, we still have weakness, so it may take a, a little while to take effect. Diazepam withdrawal. Gosh, I'm sorry, Mark. I really am. I'm going to activate my shooter's earmuffs so I can hear again. Let's get on the road. Where do we want to drive to? Let's drive to here. Uh, is that the path we want to take? That takes us... No, I'll just drive myself. Thanks, auto drive. Hey, you know what? We may have diazepam withdrawal and radiation poisoning, but at least we have antipsychotics.
I think we're hallucinating right now. But, funny enough, the antipsychotics will probably not have any effect on that since we're hallucinating as a result of diazepam withdrawal. All right, we'll stay on the road for a bit. What do we got? Oh, we got a shambler and a spore cloud right in the middle of the highway there. I'm going to drive around the little spore. I think it's my understanding that those spores affect you, but it may just be if the enemy attacks you. You could use some diazepam. Welcome to drug addiction, Mark. As if you didn't have enough problems. But you know, it kind of fits. We're just going to go with the uh, head cannon that... Uh... Hey, look at there. There's a nice little vehicle. However, there may be... There is, allegedly, a dissoluted devourer over here. I guess that's what it is. Yeah, dissoluted devourer. Here's a nice uh, low-end cube van. But... <clears throat> It's close enough to the city, I guess we'll just avoid it. We'll go on an exploring mission. This is one of the things that was really funny about <clears throat> the uh, Kanji Garakawa playthrough so far, was just doing the exploring and stuff. It's been really fun, so let's let Mark take a turn. There's another steel drum, but that is not a steel tank. <clears throat> uh, I want to examine this newspaper page. Can I... Ah... Do it like this. Oh, do it like this. There. Editor says, destroy the dead. Recognizable dead left lying in the street may be dangerous. If you kill a hostile, smash or butcher it with a knife until unrecognizable. These aren't rioters. They're undead. The government has been lying to us all along. This will be our last issue. Well, that's a bummer. Why is that going to be our last issue? We want you to keep reporting on the apocalypse. Speaking of which, if I do play another character, I was thinking that a photojournalist would be fun. Because we could go all over the place reporting the news. Hey, look at there. There's a solar panel car. It's all beat to crap, though. Hey, I'll tell you what, Mark. Let's just hop out and see if we can grab any of those. Okay, we don't want stop driving. I want to release the controls. By the way, do we have any evils? Yeah, fungaloids and spore clouds. Let's see if we've got a decent solar panel here. Most of these are totally destroyed. That one advanced one is okay. So we've got like... Yeah, they're in really bad shape. Can we remove that? <clears throat> yeah, I think we've got all the requirements. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Can we pick that up? Sure can. Uh, don't step in the fumes, Mark. You wouldn't want to do anything that would be unhealthy. Okay, we'll put the advanced solar panel in the... Uh, trunk. That was cool. We've got a few more good ones here. Um, guess we could grab them. What is that right there? Is that a battery recharger? It is. It's a recharging station, but it's totally destroyed. Eh. We got one solar panel. We're good. Let's see if our map has changed any. Nope, not really. Haven't seen much. So let's just carry on. Uh, hello? Oh, resume driving. There we go. Uh, let's put the, uh, telephone on doing disturb mode. There we go. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Fungaloid Shambler. Ah, did not mean to crash into you. Boy. You were standing in the middle of the highway, however. Another newspaper page. Let's examine that. <clears throat> Government facilities bombed in an apparent foreign attack, contradicting earlier Department of Defense denials of the disaster being caused by Chinese aggression. A coordinated bombing strike hit a wide number of U.S. governmental facilities simultaneously yesterday, as well as numerous locations in isolate parts of the coastal United States. 
A statement from the Pentagon has been issued stating that the strikes were the result of a Chinese opportunism during the national crisis and assured that action would be taken against in kind against aggressors. <coughs> Allegations that these sites contained top secret government research facilities related to the disaster have been vehemently denied. So I now understand better. Do you remember when we talked to that Chinese girl at the um, FEMA, um, not evac camp, but the other one, the big fee, the big uh, evac camp for survivors? That Chinese girl said they didn't let her in because she was Chinese, and um, I thought that was just a weird addition to the uh, lore. But um, actually, I guess that's kind of canon that the United States and China. We're on pretty poor terms during the cataclysm. So I see now why they didn't want to let her in, because they thought she might be a Chinese spy. The government had blamed the Chinese for a lot of what was going on. Huh. Interesting. I like a game where you've got to discover the lore. That's pretty cool. Reminds me of Dark Souls all over again. Back when I was playing Dark Souls, my wife would come in and say, what are you doing? And I'd be like, I'm just reading item descriptions. <laughs> Riveting gameplay there. I'm reading item descriptions for the third time, looking for things that I didn't know were there. Aha! So there's a fungal bloom over here. Makes me wish I had enabled fungal, uh, fungal growth. I'd love to see a landscape that's just like totally destroyed by all the fungus. Ah, we're coming in view of... Eh, shoot, it's just a campground. Okay, we'll probably hop off this uh, road. Oh, I went the wrong way on the road, probably. We need to get back on this road, I think. Because that's going to give us our best chance of getting up to New Hartford and stuff. Is this a bridge up here? All right, we'll get up here and turn around. What do we got for enemies over here? Pickles and irradiated lettuces and fungaloids and stuff. <clears throat> we could stand to siphon some gas, to be honest. If there's anything to siphon here. I'm going to slow down and turn this uh, thing around. Let go of the controls to see if there's a oh hang on looks like we didn't decelerate all the way there we go now let go of the controls boy are we high okay we spotted a praying mantis sometimes there's vehicles in the campground but i don't see any this time all right Let's get back on the other highway. You hear a poof. I don't know, can you turn into a fungus man? I think you can, right? Maybe Mark can go that route. I don't know anything about it. We got jackrabbits fleeing from the fungaloids. <clears throat> all right, we need to get all the way down here. It would be weird to be driving down the highway and see all this fungus, fungaloid stuff going on. <clears throat> You'd be like, what the 
actually uh, just watched the uh, Korean film or Korean TV series Parasite. Yeah, man, I love that. That Parasite was so cataclysm in so many ways. And they had some very bizarre alien things. These are giant aphids. Okay, we'll just pass them by. Got a crater here. Yeah, like these uh, these parasites would totally take over people's heads and then look like them, but when they went to attack, these like 18-foot tentacles would come out of their head, and they were doing uh, head tentacle kung fu. And <laughs> I got to admit, I've never seen action scenes where you had like a Korean, where you had 18-foot um, head tentacle kung fu. That was pretty radical. All right, we have come to a bridge. I might as well stop and check that car for gas. We'll check that uh, van for gas. Uh oh, I have spotted some zombies apparently. They haven't spotted us yet, so let's just hop out and get the siphoning done. Oh, there's a little gasoline in there. Not much, but a little. Okay, cool. What kind of condition is the hatchback in? Oh, terrible. Oh, here comes a zombie. Is this a tough zombie? Yes, it is. Boy, could I use some diazepam. All right. We'll just take these guys the uh, traditional way. Lure them into the vehicle and beat the crap out of them. Multi-tool, Swiss Army knife, shelled pistachio. So this is a fishing pond, and there's some burned ground. Let's see if there's any gasoline in this. There's a little bit. I'll come up here and siphon it. Didn't realize we got a towel here. Nah, we'll just deal with that later. Where are we at on our mission timer? Okay, we're doing good. All right, filling up the hippie van. I think we're getting good at that, if I don't mind saying so myself. Coming up on some zombies, though. What do we got? We have a zombie hunter. We have seen this before. It's amazing that it describes itself as mildly dangerous. It seems quite dangerous to me. Um, oh, oh, I have uh, need to stop driving here. The zombie hunter leaps. Okay, let's let go of the controls. I'm just going to leave the van running. The zombie hunter is... Oh, yeah, that was perfect. We caught him right where we wanted him.
Perfect. What kind of vehicle is this? Is this a uh, limousine or something? What is this? Extended bed four seat pickup truck. It's got no gasoline inside, so we don't need to worry about siphoning anything. gotten in the habit of checking these wallets just in case I get some kind of key all right these guys are gonna come in through the truck yeah just like this hey the bleeding stopped on its own mark is still high as hell why are you unhappy mark I don't understand why you're unhappy you've been high this whole time you know always oh, because of the diazepam withdrawal He's in that horrible situation where he's high and withdrawing at the same time. Guess I'll grab the cash card. Should have one more zombie to deal with. Yep. Come to me, zombie. Just get this highway clear real quick. Let's go ahead and eat some things that may make us happy. Let's have a pistachio, candy coated, that, protein, okay, like that. And you know what? I would almost be tempted to have Mark eat a pink tab just to get his happiness where it needs to be. Close that. All right, we're back on the road. Got some wild boars, giant aphids, freshwater honeydew, not much. I think I saw a vehicle up here though. Oh, okay, it was a. No, I don't know. I thought I saw a vehicle for a second. Oh, here we go. We got one in the middle of the road. Okay, starting to get into some vehicles. Are we outside of a town? No, we are not. We got a big parking lot down here. Ah, light industry. Okay. I'm curious enough about these roads. I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip whatever this is. I don't want to get bound up in it. Oop. Let's go like this. We ought to be able to just kind of cut across this whole mess. Yeah, here we go. Look at that, we've got a, what is this? This looks funny, it's tiny. Automatic street sweeper. Hmm. Does that have a turret? <laughs> no, it's got a security camera. That's cool. We've got a road roller, and we've got some crashed buses and stuff. Is this all right outside the light industry? No, it's outside of a motel. And apparently... Uh-oh, we got some kind of smoker zombie over here, probably, and he's got a small horde with him. Yeah, we're going to skip that because we're in exploration mode, not battle mode. Let's see if I can get a good view of that horde, though. <clears throat> swimmer zombie, feral human swimmer zombie. The weird thing is, though, look at all that smoke. There's got to be a smoker zombie in there. He's just not visible. Yeah, that motel is a trash pit, man. Going into that sense. Hey, what do we got here? 
Junk, metal, barrier, barbed wire, fence. Huh? What is that? Uh, we've got NPCs, folks. Delana Frias is at the motel. Tyson Frey, the scrapper. Who's this Delana Frias? Man, if there's... She tries to break out of the grab, but fails. Uh-oh. Mm. She wants to talk, it says. Hold on. Can I hit my chat button? No, I can't because I'm too far away. She wants to talk. Mm. All right, let's hop out. Oh. Stop driving. Uh, let go of the controls. All right. Mark is a hero. He's going to save the day, right? If he can. 13 zombies in view. This lady's in deep doo doo, man. Still can't talk to her, though. Okay. I mean, she is in a really bad spot. Um, I don't think she's going to make it, to be honest. Unless she starts killing lots of zombies. Did she throw a smoke bomb, or is there a smoker bombing bomb there? Okay, she broke out of the grab. Looks like she's, uh, she's getting missed a lot, so that's something. Good God. Yeah, I think we're about to witness another tragedy unfold. Jeez. Delana mm, wants to talk. I just, oh, take or uh, activate the shooter's earmuffs. They're on. Okay, so I should be able to hear. I just want to get close enough to talk to her. She loses some blood. She gets grabbed. Maybe she can't talk while she's in combat, though. I don't know if I can save her from all of this, to be honest. That's a lot. That is a lot. She hit the swimmer zombie, at least. Uh-oh. My program has crashed due to segmentation fault. Interesting. Okay. What crashed? It said it crashed. Stop recording. Is my recording still running? My recording's still running. My background music quit playing for some reason. It says hang on a bit. I'll bet it's... Yeah, no, it's totally crashed. All right, I will be right back. Uh-oh. Can I not pull up my OBS now? Here we go. All right, I'm going to uh, pause the recording here. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Yeah, I don't know if that uh, segmentation fault error showed up on the screen or not. But apparently that was a crash that Cataclysm couldn't handle. We are back at the place where we siphoned a little bit of fuel out of these vehicles. And then we went past that thing right there. We've not killed the zombie hunter yet. Now that we've gone back to this save, I'm just going to skip it. Let's go back to where we were. And I don't think I'm going to try to save that NPC. She's in way too much trouble. Like 16 zombies in an open field. There ain't no woman worth that. Besides that, is she even there? We don't know, man. She might not even be real. The guy in the scrapyard, yeah, he probably definitely is. Well, you know what? She's got to be real because... Uh, because the zombies were attracted to her. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was going to say because she was fighting, but that's... 
not necessarily true. It quite often would show me that those NPCs were fighting and they actually weren't, so... The joys of calyptic psychosis. Now, we do have some anti uh, antipsychotics we can take. You know what I'm really saving those for, though, is the... Um... Hey, there's different vehicles here, I think, than there was before. This is weird. What's this? Okay, this is the motel, but before, there was no ambulance here. This is odd. Eh, okay. Very, very interesting. So the road vehicles are no longer here. I didn't know it generated that stuff on the fly. That's cool. That is cool. I don't want to run into you guys. Here we go. What is that? Fire truck. Oh, does it have the coveted, um, uh, the coveted uh, turret on it? Oh, man, I don't see a turret here. Ah, that's a bummer. What's it going to take to find a turret? Yeah, it's just got this um, cabinet right there. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Crashed into it. <laughs> Is there a turret back here? All right, so this is the motel area. Delena Frias is still there. She's probably overwhelmed by a bunch of crap. Here's the scrapyard. We haven't seen that NPC yet. I'm just going to drive up to this road, I believe. Oh, don't run into that. Now, is she in as much trouble as she was last time? Yeah, she wants to talk. We could... Oh, no, we can't either. I always think I can drive through these hedges, and you cannot drive through those hedges. If we could recruit her, she could jump in the car. But I'm not going to put much effort into it. Here's some solar panels down here. See, if I drive down in here, I can't get back out. Because it's impassable. Then if you come around in here, yeah, you're locked in. So I ain't driving down in there. I'm going to make one attempt to talk. I can't talk. Sorry, Delena, but I'm um, kind of uh, not picking up MP uh, girls like you right now. Okay, the scrapyard is up against some trees here. Hold on. Now can we uh, squeeze through there? Do I need to go north and go around that copse of trees? Looks like I need to go north if I want to go around it. There's some blood over there, or if I turn south, does it get me to the highway? Let's look. Yeah, we could spin south, actually. Okay. Oh, God, slow down, though. Yep, there's the scrapyard owner. Mark doesn't care about that. Mark is looking for bigger adventures. Kanji would be all over that stuff. What do we have here? Newspaper page. They walk our earth. They're here. They're here. Yeah, we've read that one. And yeah, knee pads. That blood makes the letter H. Is that deliberate? Right, off into unexplored territory. No mutation through radiation has been achieved. But boy, could I use some diazepam. Maybe a guy needs to have some of that whatever. Mutagen primer or something before he irradiates. I think we're a little too close to this vehicle. Let's let go of the controls. Hop out and apply our hose. That vehicle has no fuel. Boy, it's in nice shape, though. How's our map looking now? Okay, we're about to make it to the weird looking roads. Cool.
I hear whirring. What do we got here? A couple zombies. Got looks like a bicycle with a basket. Decayed zombies. This guy looked a little weird over here. Oh, okay. It was just because I was zoomed out. What is this right here? That is a suit. Oh, it's a rotary clothes dryer line. <laughs> a central pole holding up clothes. Oh, okay. Is that an oxygen tank or something? It's not red. It's a hand pump. And over here we have a pupating zombie. Ah, I see. So, this is a mobile home park, and that's the reason that this road looks different. Uh, this is probably a complex of mobile homes, and then these interior roads have a different look to them than the exterior roads. Okay, that's cool. Neat. I mean, look at my map again. Yeah, this road bypasses all of that stuff, so we can basically just drive right past it. That's where all them trailer trash live. Oh, that's why they... Ooh, look at that vehicle. Check it out. Man, that's a 4x4 four four car with rams on the front. It's got a faulty engine, but it doesn't mean it won't run. It's got off-road wheels. Man, I think maybe I need to investigate that car. This here is a mobile home inside of a fenced-in area. It could get a little nasty going in there to investigate that car, to be honest. If we get off in that area, they're going to be coming out of everywhere, probably. I wonder... I can just remember the vehicle's location. Can I do that from here? Okay. Well, we can drop it on the map, I guess. Like right about here, if we leave a note that says 4x4 car. We may come back and investigate that. God only knows how much, you know, what kind of loot and how much is down here. Jesus, I mean, there's just so many mobile homes. Another decent looking car down there. But we love our hippie van because it took so much effort to make it. We got a ski jacket here. We got a little beetle. Looks like the road splits here. Yeah, it does. That's the entrance to the mobile home park complex. Oh, whoa. Look at this. Whole huge thing of web spinning spiders. Lovely.
Well, folks, uh, you know what? I'm looking at my mission timer, and I think it's about time to wrap the episode up. I don't want to quit. Once I get an exploration mode, I start having too much fun to stop. I think we're going to have to quit here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. I'll be back in the next one in a couple of days. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. <laughs>